Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody to another episode of the Roddy Loafers here. Yeah, woohoo! Yeah, right. Got a thousand people in the audience here. I'm just kidding, we don't. But uh, yeah, we've got a great show today. We're talking about tattoos in Texas. We've got our good buddy Cliff Frank here. Good to see you, Cliff. And our good buddies, of course. Yeah, we got Suit Steve and Fireball Bill. Got a How y'all great doing? show, guys. <laughs> Back guys here. Hey, we're talking about tattoos. Talking Whoa! About hey, almost got me with those oh, yeah. guns there. Those guns are Woo. guns are strong. A little bit of I like it. You know, so good buddy here, Cliff Franks. What else you got down there? No. Hey, <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of my favorite tattoos I've ever, ever done. Actually. This is a family it's, show. It's I love a good it. one. It is. It's very clean. Why deal. would you go there? I just asked. I'm just saying. It's Fireball Bill. So yeah, we can talk about a little. Yeah. You're talking about what would uh, Davy Crockett have as a tattoo? Yeah, right? I mean, think about it. I mean, we don't know a lot about Texas history related to tattoos, tattoos but, yeah. you know, we don't know. I mean, maybe they had tattoos, but <laughs> I, I thought it would be fun to think about, you know, if we thought about all the different heroes at the Alamo and their personality, what would they have tattooed on their body? What what would that look like? I mean, they're all rebellious, right? They're very right, rebellious right. spirits. That's so, right. I mean, that's a like freedom. Some maybe they're freedom. their favorite whore. Maybe. But even the, the Iceman up there, then they thawed out, and he had tattoos on him from like ten thousand years ago. That's right. Anyways, right. we'll dig into uh, it. How did they How did they do that back then? They did it with a uh, long rod with needles. They actually still do it, like in the Philippines and even the, 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 uh, oh, like there, yeah, like that tap and stuff. Yeah, it seems yeah. really painful. It is. I have a client. Uh, she went to Japan and got she only it. wants it done that way, right? And she, well, she has other tattoos, but she got this one specifically for the experience, right? So yeah. She wanted the the traditional style uh, tattoo. Where'd she get it? Somewhere in Japan, I'm not no, sure. No, no, I mean on her body. Oh, it was on her oh. thigh, I think thigh. Yeah. Ah, thigh. All right. A little less painful. She's curious. Yeah. And, well, she told me, I mean, it's a small tattoo. It's only like four inches, mm. but it took six hours. Oh, my mm. gosh. So, I mean, you can imagine no, it's terrible. how long and how frustrating. Oh, you just get so But the out. tattoo, it was, it was gorgeous. Yeah. It was absolutely fully saturated. Uh, a very high caliber tattoo. Like the guy knew what he was doing. Amazing. Very cool. So Man. we got Cliff Franks with us from uh, the Black Knight tattoo. And he's Dark just, Knight. Dark, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. What is that? Yeah. Black Knight. I'm sorry. It was something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even matter about the name. It's Cliff Franks is the guy. It's same thing spelled different. <laughs> 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 um, yes, and he is the guy in Houston, right? So you've done you've done what four or five of mine. How did yep, you get into yeah. this, man? I know you're like an art guy. You're designer. Was, yeah. I've and, always uh, been an art guy. Um, I did. I started my apprenticeship about 15 years ago, and I actually didn't do it very long. It was only for like eight months, I think. The kids were really young. The tattoo industry just wasn't where it is now. Yeah. It's uh, changed a lot, oh, right? Oh, yeah. I remember as a, as a kid or whatever, not kid, that sounds weird, but as a young man or whatever, we would just go in there and say, give me give me the book and let's flip through it and right. do it like that. That's right. how I did you're, mine. Yeah. Yeah. You're booked up. I mean, you got, now, you're got you like three, four months out. Yeah. Right. I mean, with the advent of the internet and, you know, like social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, et cetera, you're, all, you're all allowed to book appointments and people can see your work instead of, you know, just randomly walking exactly. to the shop. You're, you know, you're shooting in the dark. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, and there's a large degree of uh, differences between tattoo artists' abilities. 100%. So you got some people that, I mean, everybody's seen bad tattoos. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. So they're seeking out the artist. Spell yeah. wrong. Right. So <laughs> you can imagine going into a shop, like, say, the late 90s, early 2000s, and really not having a clue what you're going to get, you know, the tattoo artist's yeah. ability. I, I, I resemble that remark. I have, yeah, we all do. We I, all got yeah, right? I have one that nobody knows what it is now. Uh, I don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's a weird. Once spot. again, family show. We can't yeah, show. I know. It's not a tramp stamp, is it? No. Okay. Well, well. <laughs> we're having a tattoo showcase right now. Everyone's showing their tattoos. Uh, just made the internet. Suit Steve has a tramp stamp. Yeah, okay. Right, right. 
I don't want to know. I don't want to picture that. Inquiry minds want to know. I actually do have a funny story about a tramp stamp. My uh, one of on my a guy. Yeah, one of my oh, close no. friends. Oh, no, yeah, come on. one of my close friends has a tramp stamp, and uh, you're still friends. We, yes, we're <laughs> close friends. <laughs> He's a great guy. Did you do it? But he was no. This was way before <laughs> okay. you know. Uh, this was when we were young, getting tattoos, type of thing. And my wife had my ex-wife. She had almost the same exact tattoo. It's like, you know. It's a typical like a tattoo. Tribal art or something? It's just a cross, okay. you know, and yeah. it was some uh, decoration I see a around it. Here. Yeah. And I used to give him so much shit because it, you know, looked like my wife's tattoo. And I, I was like, say. hey, whenever you, you know, turn around, you kind of look the same to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you need to work out a little more. <laughs> but yeah, this was before there was that big stigma about it, I guess. It yeah. wasn't right. just gender based or something like that. Or maybe it was, and he was just ignorant <laughs> of it and just didn't know. We were uh -huh. kids. So, do, do people still come in and ask for those? Uh, no, rarely. Rarely? Okay. Rarely. No, Most of the time, it's uh, it's like for cover-ups. Oh, if they have wow. a tram stamp or they want to make it bigger. Blended into something. So it doesn't yeah. look like it's just that right. central thing. Like they had the some track. dude's name there, and now they want to make it like an art piece so, or something. So, so no whale tails, it's not that, that kind of thing. Right. <laughs> I've yeah. seen you do <laughs> cover-ups. So I've seen you actually do a pretty good cover-ups on people. I've seen your, uh, yeah, your yeah. website and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Cover-ups are difficult, but yeah, we do, yeah. yeah, for sure. They kind of blend it all together. You have to do anything more besides just tattoo over it. you got to make sure that you can't, it doesn't, like, bleed through, yeah? Right, so it has to be usually full color um, to cover up, like, thick black lines. And ideally, you want the client to go through at least one session of laser removal, depending on all, uh, okay. how old the tattoo is yeah. and how thick, you know, the, the line work uh -huh. is. What's the process in that, the laser removal thing? Would that, is that like tedious? It's over and over again, right? No, it's actually really quick. Um, if you're actually planning on getting a tattoo cover up, yeah. you really only need one session. You don't need a whole lot. You, it doesn't have to disappear, right? Mm. So you just have to make it fade out a bit. That way you can actually go over it with uh, new ink. And ink nowadays, it's, you know, the pigment uh, of tattoo inks is very rich and thick. So, it'll so it's changed a lot, the actual pigments and stuff? Big time, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Even like the machines. Uh, yeah, like I see when you I, like grabbing different things for, for like uh, blending and uh, oh, yeah, line yeah. work and There's all that. Mags, uh, shaders, round shaders, liners, all sorts of different, you know, needle combinations. Mm -hmm. Everything from 3 to 27, depending on sort of uh, what you want to do. And I yeah. imagine it's the same for like your engraving and boots and stuff. You have it is, yeah. And so you saw Chase over boots. here as he's tooling, right? So the different tooling thing, more mm -hmm. of a fine line versus like a like a yeah. background, right. pebbled background. So I guess- Very yeah, similar in that regard. Yeah, you have yeah. Uh, different, uh, different tools for different sort of uh, structures in the art. Like if you yeah. want to do really fine lines, like we did on your chest, mm -hmm. we did that really fine line work. And then we came in and filled it in with a slightly larger round shader. Yep. And let's see that chest again. Yeah, let's, let's see it. See Superman. Ah, <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite tattoos. Yeah, Adam and producer, sure we need to and, zoom in on this one. <laughs> and it's embarrassing. A lot of people well, don't realize look, it. Look here and then look up there. Yeah, there, there you it go. Is. That's what it yeah, is. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Right. He did it. He's like fast. He's like, okay, stencil, da 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 da, and then you just go, right? Well, so. a lot of people see like big tattoos and artwork, and they're like, mm -hmm. wow, that looks great. But a lot of times, that's not as an artist. That's not even the hard part of tattooing. Yeah. The hard part of tattooing is something minimal and making it look crisp and clean. Yeah. That's where we're not misspelling see. anything. So sure. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that. That's a, that's a lot of this work. Is, yeah, yeah. This is um, um, determined to sustain myself as long as possible and die like a soldier. Who never forgets what is due to his own honor and that of his country, victory or death. William Barrett Travis. So. This is kind of, again, stuff that means something to you, right? So I, yeah. I, I didn't get tattoos for a long time because I didn't want something like a, a gecko on me or something sure, weird no. like we got on, or, or whatever you got. I've had to be covered right. up like that. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You mean you <laughs> don't have a fireball tattoo yet? Not yet. I've, I've, you're, oh. you're, you're, okay. you're really yeah, right. show. Stay I have a pair. Jimmy, I'm a pair. Oh, you got oh. I have a Jimmy Buffett pair. Rest in oh, okay. Right. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, That's it. Exactly. So, so Chris, what if, if William Barrett Travis had had a tattoo, what do you think it would have been? Ooh, I don't know. Something about victory or death. I mean, he was just a big patriot. I, He's strong. I, yeah, definitely not. Uh, would you say a beaver or something? On I don't know. No, no. That's me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> Davy Crockett, and it was a, a raccoon. Wait, when a skunk hat? Was, come on. This is sacrilegious. <laughs> it was a sacrilegious. It was a neutral rat. 
But tattoos have been around for a long time, you know. So See, you know, I like this guy. I'll, yeah, I mean, somebody on my side. I mean, ra raise your hand if you if if you as a kid ran around with a coonskin. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, yeah. 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 Seriously, yeah. Seriously, yeah. yeah, that was it, man. That you had to. Yeah, so I don't know what they right. they would have, but these guys, as you said, they were rebellious guys. They were yeah. looking for freedom, you know. They they drew the cannon, come and take it, that kind yep. of stuff. So, yeah, we'll see. What impresses me so much about them back uh, back then is uh, just the statesmanship that they all possessed. You yeah. know, the letters and the the articulation of how they spoke and wrote. To me, it's so impressive, and we don't see that today. Right. You know? You don't ever see. Yeah, you get well, that, that was feeling. Very hard, yeah, it was very heartfelt. I mean, right. just like this, like sure. I am willing to die for these principles of, of freedom. Right. And so you know, let's let's do it. You know, I'm right. gonna, hey, you know, are we gonna raise the red banner and you fire off a cannon? Like, come, you know, yeah. let's they go. weren't wor they weren't worried about uh, whether or not Starbucks had the right flavor of frappuccino. <laughs> That's right? correct. You know? That, we that try wasn't to embody, their concerns. Yeah. You know? We try to embody a lot of that here and, and talk about it. You know, we go and listen to past episodes. I'll go deep into some of that sacrifice and different uh, history of you know, the runaway scrape, the battle at uh, Goliad, the Alamo, and, of course, San Jacinto, which is where you're, you're from. Yeah, right, you can yeah. see the, the monument like right there. Yeah. Yep. As a kid, I would ride my bike there all the time. I've been there countless times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your Skip family, kind of your Texas story though, right? So your grand, your grandparents came from their Czech Great immigrants. grandparents, yeah. My great grandparents. grandparents came over in a covered wagon uh, from, I think, South Carolina, and settled mm. near Waco, uh, specifically Lot, Rosebud, Waller area. Czech. Czech, right? Czech. Yeah. Germany. So that that's kind of like where uh, West Texas is, and they got like right. this huge Czech community Big in that time. whole area. Yeah. yeah. Kalachi Central. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, she made the best Kalachi, <laughs> like traditional Kalachis, not uh -huh. the stuff. Like, not the, not the sausage ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Glad, yeah. I'm glad you said it because I was about to say it, and I was feeling well, if you like go maybe into, that, uh, would, <laughs> that would not be acceptable thing to ask <laughs> if she made Kalachis or not. She yeah. definitely did. Yeah. Oh, she lived to a hundred and one, I believe. Wow. Yeah. And Kalachis are good for you. She was out there, you know, ringing chickens' necks so the day she liked. Wow. You know, she was a wow. really strong woman. So you get those Texas roots. I mean, I was little story. I. I see a guy, I'm, my family's big on going to Garner State Park on the Frio, and so we go every single year. I used to go as a kid all the time. Yeah, yeah. so my, my wife loves to dance out there, and we yep. got the kids dancing and stuff, and so it's, a, it's just a great tradition. Yep. And I see a guy climbing the chair, I was like, oh my God, is that Cliff Franks? <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I got a tattoo schedule. Like, and it, and this, at this time, the water's kind of low and stuff, oh, and he's in this tree is like 60 foot. It's up there, yeah, the the. The Y is what they the call y, it. Yeah. Wait, the y. you were hanging out. The Wait, y. Was it you? Yeah, yeah. It was me. Yeah. It was him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was like, it's I, impossible. Like, it's, I thought this was a made-up story. Not no, made up. No, no, no. no he actually really saw him. you in a tree. And I'm like, oh my god. And I'm sitting. In so the you're water. at Garner State Park at the dance, and you see him in this tree. Well, I'm in the water drinking oh, beer. Right, right. Wait, what were you right. doing in the tree? I was about to jump off it. Yeah, that's the whole uh, thing. You jump off. Oh, the into tree. the river. Okay, yeah. right. But the river, oh, all right. dude. We, the we river. missed that part. Yeah. Definitely into the river. I thought he was just climbing a random tree. <laughs> exactly. I was like, why? Yeah, that's I think weird. This just got weird. Sorry, just no, there was an end goal. There was something yeah, okay, to do. Right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I have a yeah. cliff sighting. Yeah, <laughs> he's up in that tree up there. As like, I can't. He's yeah. a black what bear. Whatever. That's weird. What the heck? Tree over there. He left all that out. I know. Well, you should know if you go to Garner. I'm saying Garner State Park, the tree. You know, people. People who go. Oh, definitely know. You know what you guys about. know yeah. that our, our audience knows about the why. Yeah. Anyways, jumps you dove. Off. Dove, yeah. Oh, uh, oh. I'm, I'm a diver for sure. Yeah, dive dude. I'm talking things. about <laughs> five foot of water. Oh, it was. Well, it was a little bit more than that. I was thinking it was like seven and a half. I had my son test it out. Good first. thing. And <laughs> he went underwater. Wow. He's he, he put. He's six oh. three. He put his hand up, and his fingertips were coming up. So I was like, oh, that's, "That's a good gauge, good. son." Yeah. 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 <laughs> good. I think I got it. Break my neck. Perfect. No, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. Yeah. Like since we go every year, you know, just like Chris said, uh, it's been, I think, fourteen. No, longer than that. Twenty, thirty years wow. since I've been diving off that thing. Wow. Okay. So I got it down. I'm like those, you know, those old cartoons where the the guy jumps from a high thing and like a barrel of water. <laughs> barrel of water. Yeah, yeah, that's me. I, I can do that. I can just go yeah, in and yeah. turn. And yep, nice. And so the next, so don't die because we're gonna do the scrolling. We're doing a boot here. This is gonna be the next. Uh, this is looking be, forward to it. Yeah. If I can fit his schedule, because you know Cliff Frank's here at the Dark Knight <laughs> is a very busy man. You gotta seek out your artist. And again, that's that's a kind of a cool thing. Is like you're kind of going after the artist. Where's your shop? 
tell, tell uh, League shots. City. It's uh, fifty ten West Main League City. League so City. It's right by Baybrook Mall. It's okay, like a little bit past Baybrook yeah. Mall. And again, how, how do we get into this, right? So you're a designer. You love architecture. We were talking about architecture in the store today. Kind of got that feel. You're talking about also doing some graphic design, maybe maybe right, for yeah. like uh, beer companies and this. this kind I of did thing. like right out of uh, college or when I was going to college, I started working for Silver Eagle, which is the the Budweiser distributor, and uh, did graphic design for them for about eight years, and then I got into the tattoo apprenticeship. Mm. Well, that didn't work out because the kids were really young. Just the industry wasn't where it, where it is now. Um, and I went to architectural design, mm. architectural sign design specifically, and did that for another eight years until the kids were older. That way I could... Oh, your kids, okay. My kids, okay, right. Okay, so you wanted to get out of the industry. Yeah, because I'm a family man. I'm dad yeah. first before yeah. I'm anything else. Love so, it, I love uh, it. Yeah, that's great. I, you know, I wanted to make sure that they're, you know, I'm around for them growing up. Right. And... And your son just went to college, right? And well, he's, he just graduated. From? Graduated college? No. Oh, from yeah, high school. High school, oh, went yeah. to college. Yeah. Where's he going to school? He's not. He's... Uh, Thank you. Sorry. He graduated from Deer Park, and he got a good job working with a buddy of mine. He's learning a craft. Hey, good. Go back to the episode right before we were talking about that's, crafts. That's right. We're all about crafts. We do not have to go push everybody to go to college. Ab absolutely. You need not. more definitely. crafts. Sorry. Yep, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's what he's doing, and that's what I wanted him to do. You know, if he's not going to go to college because school just wasn't, you know, in the cards for him, he just didn't yeah. want to do it. Yeah. Spend uh, all that money going there and not really. You know, I mean, we all know somebody who is in college, you know, debt or whatever, right? So. 100%. Um, but no, he's doing great. He's already moved out and everything, and uh, he's he's a responsible young man. Good, and I'm I'm very proud of him. Yeah, that's great. That's a big deal. So you're taking yeah. care of the family, then you're like, look, let's go in, and did you go in with Jet? You know, we had our, our right, uh, yeah. production manager over there talking about Jet is an old friend of mine. Yeah. We uh, I used to be really good friends with my little brother, and I've known him for over you know 20, 25 years mm -hmm. or whatever, and uh, so got in with him, and we just. We click. We work well together, and it's just him and me as a tattoo artist there. Yeah. His wife does like microblading for like the eyebrows and eye makeup and stuff. Mm -hmm. Bill does that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I can tell. I'm in transition right now. <laughs> People ask me, they're like, "Do you do that?" I'm like, "I would never go near a woman's face who's been working on her own face for her entire life, not happy, and try to you know make cosmetic changes to it, like." That is not in the cards for me. I'm not going to do it. You've lost so, your mind. so as an artist, as a as a true artist, how does how does that differ from people in the industry that, you know, download things off the internet? They're you know, it's just it's just a bunch of patterns, all of that. Right. I can see it must be much different for you, as somebody who's an actual graphic design artist, mm -hmm. and being able to help create something unique versus you know, punching it up online. Right. Well, I was going to say, do you, what do you do more? Do you, you get actually help them create something or you just run with what they So do? it's like a fusion. Yeah. Um, so what I, how I like to operate is I like for the client to give me, you know, references of an idea of what they want. Sure. Like, cause there's so many different art styles yeah. that you can choose from everything from realism to neo-traditional to American traditional Japanese, etc. There's, there's a lot of art forms. Um, and you might not know what the client wants. And so I like for my clients to provide me with some sort of photo reference. And it doesn't have to be that tattoo. In fact, I'd rather it not be that art. And then I put my own spin on it. Like it. And I create the composition. Because it also, what's very important is where it's going on your body. Yeah. So you have to form the mold, the shape of if it's know, going round for example as right. opposed to flat and kind of seeing how it looks like a lot of people think you know hey i want to put a you know a big circle on my shoulder or on my chest and then when you put the stencil on there it looks like an oval and it looks mm, all gosh. oblong and stuff because you know the curves of the body mm -hmm. and so you have to be mindful of that uh whenever you're doing the art and so you know i'll take a picture of their body or uh and i'll bring it into my ipad for procreate and i'll draw it out that way i know the shape will fit 
no around sense. the curvature That's of your body. I'm seeing so much more realism kind of thing. Like you're looking inside somebody's body <laughs> or just some really wicked stuff. I mean, I guess, yeah. yeah, as you said, you've got to kind of take that picture, that image, and then kind of wrap it around that particular body part. And Yeah, because, I mean, you see on. some tattoos and they don't, like some tattoo artists don't take that in consideration. Mm. And you might have a snake that all you ever see is the body of the snake, but the head and tail are like, you know, buried in the back or something, or yeah. they're they're warped from the you know just the curvature of the arm or whatever body part you're putting it on. So it's important to to really focus on that. Like, what is what is visible uh, on your body that you want you know the tattoo to be the focal point? Yeah, yeah. like to see it. Yeah. So do you have a signature of some sorts that if someone sees your tattoo that they know it's yours, or do you? Or do you, you know, I hope so. Yeah. I think I I think it's hard for an artist to recognize their own signature. Yeah. But, I mean, I recognize other artists' signatures, right. yeah, okay. for sure. And but for me, myself, I don't know. I hope so. Okay. Right. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think another artist would, would recognize about you, about your artist? artistry i think you'd have to like uh you know you could take a magnifying glass to my work i'm very detail oriented and very like uh like precise telescoping you know you have to to dig into it my artwork is specifically but my tattoos as well like i, I try not to bother him you know he's like sitting there and he's got his music i'm like just do it man <laughs> <laughs> just, oh yeah I'm, I'm in the zone too but you know so we talk we we have I know, I know. yeah for sure for so sure. so talking. this one this one on this guy's <laughs> arm how long did that take to do I don't recall. Um, maybe like three hours. Three hours there. Then we did like three hours here. Then we did the right. burning the candle at both ends. That's what I do, right? We work, we play, you know? So yeah, yeah so it's these different, we're trying to piece it together, make it look right. right as a piece that means something to me, right? Traveling the world and all that. So I think three, four hours is enough <laughs> on that. It <laughs> is. Which is, this is not I so bad. This one, as you start getting here, it's like more. Uh, Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's spicy. That's what we call it. Spicy, oh, right spicy, there. Right? Yeah. That's the, oh, he's he, a champ. He, he's the, he's strong. The day after he came in here, I'm like, hey, what's up? Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You need to come with them next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You need to come with yeah, them and, and hold his hand, wipe his tears. That's, that's, all right. I'll do it. <laughs> so yeah, Cliff. I mean, what's next for you? I mean, just you're gonna be cranking with with just doing these tattoos by appointment. What's the next journey for you as an artist? Yeah, uh, that's, I'm, I'm here. I'm living a great life right yeah. now, the best I've ever lived. So I'm very content with uh you're like your own boss career. too, right? You just book my own boss, stuff, yeah. my own hours. Um, you want to take off? Yeah, you just you get I'm off. I want to take yeah. off. i got to plan ahead because yeah. I do schedule out, uh, which can be a pain. Yeah. Yeah. He's about, seriously, three, three yeah, months. Yeah, like two or three months. I'm yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah. But which is, it's, a, it's a good problem to have. Yeah, we want to support small Texas businesses. That's Absolutely. what we're doing about, right? So we're trying to talk about some unique things in Texas and, and to support people like you. I know it's a grind. It might sound all glamorous. Oh, yeah, my own boss. But you still got to pay the rent. You do. You got to do right. the thing. You got to get the you right stay on top of stuff. It. You got to get the right permits. All those Good things. Work like the Yeah, the duck, right? You don't see the, the feet below the surface so making things where happen. Where are you located? Where, what's your area? Uh, League City is okay. where the, the tattoo place right. is. Do you go out? Right. Have you done remote tattoos? Or do you not do that? You know, I just got invited to do a wedding and yeah they wanted to have what exactly me. does that mean <laughs> right i know they wanted like to have like i guess a limited amount of sort of flash designs just like pre-drawn things that you would uh put on the guest okay and wow. you, cool. to either commemorate the the event or to just you know Get there. something unique. They have something they always wanted. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, because there's a lot of tattoo shops that do like the Friday the 13th uh, kind of openings. Like every Friday the 13th, they'll give discounted rates like 25 yeah. to like, you know, $150 tattoos or whatever. Mm. And there'll be, you know, people lined out the door for stuff like that. But the wedding, I was, I'm kind of taken aback and I'm like, I don't know how to do this. Like I would have, I would, because I'm so digitized now right i need my ipad i need my yeah. computer i need my stencil printer i need mm. you know all these different things all my you know and that's and then all my tattoo equipment and inks um are you allowed to go do it i mean just saying if we had a yeah. new shop tattoo day or something like that it's it's, it's roguish right like yeah. there's no there's no uh sort of guidelines that okay. i know of okay 
that uh, would prevent me from doing that. Well, we thought about having a Fireball Friday, and it's, it's Tattoo Day. Come in. And <laughs> Come on in, yeah. How dedicated are you, guys? <laughs> right? <laughs> Your tattoo Come on, has alleyway. to be of a boot that says Republic. <laughs> right, right. Let's get it. Yeah. Lay, lay on the table over here, alleyway. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me see how dedicated you really are. All right, man. Cool. So, hey, so we always do a, uh, we talk about a little bit of history, talk about yourself. We also talk about some boots. So, in, in out, we just talked about alleyway over there, yep. Chase, Chase Calloway. And uh, so we do art. For example, this is a um, this is boot of the week. This is boot of the week. Yeah. And this is a uh, art piece that we did on the top. Can you see it right there? That uh, is designed, uh, tooled, uh, and colored. There he is right there, alleyway. Yeah. Very proud of this boot. It's just an amazing, <laughs> it's an amazing piece. So much, he has, he has so, much detail, radio, so, so much detail, so much, so much color. <laughs> Stay over there. So much detail. <laughs> but it's cool. It took yeah. it took a long time, but again, it's more of that that art form that you can actually wear. You can pass on as an heirloom piece to your your kids, family, whatever. Um, you know, similar to the tattoo world, right, the correlation is yeah. very similar. You're wearing a tattoo, of course, but you put this, you can put it on. You know, on this case, so this is a. a you know, you can tattoo leather as well. Yeah, and yeah. we tried some of these. We we tried to do some pig skin, right. but it was bleeding mm -hmm. out. We couldn't right. get it I don't too know. deep. Yeah, there's uh there's there's definitely methods in tattooing, and it's just like the you know the human body. You have right. to uh, well, get if that it, a delicate it was, touch. It was like a live, or if it was just a well, they they practice apprentice practice on like pig skin, and they make uh, tattoo artists make you know art. They frame on uh, you know synthetic skin, which is essentially kind yeah. of a type of leather. I was kind of thinking that as you were talking about being a prince. I sure I'd want to frame that. That's a little bit <laughs> odd. But I mean, did you start on pigskin or did you just go straight on somebody? Like, okay, give me your. No, I did. Straight, give me your arm. I honestly, I did one synthetic skin. Okay. And just, just to, to get the feel, just yeah. To, yeah, just to get the jitters out and you know the nerves yeah. out and kind of learn. But that was definitely the most nervous I've ever been in my entire life. Was wow. the first tattoo. Oh yeah. Oh, I can like, imagine. Like, I've been an artist my entire life. Like, I have standards I have to meet. Like, mm -hmm. I'm very proud, proudful or prideful in that. You know, yeah. I, I have to meet those sort of criteria of excellence, you know. And whenever you're starting something new, it's, you don't know. Yeah. It's, it's the unknown. Did the person like, know that was your first tattoo? No. Oh, okay, good. No. You never tell. Uh, oh, oh man. You never tell. <laughs> no, but it was. Oh, I'm good. That was my first time. Oh. I, I, I kind of felt like, you know, it's obvious. Because I'm, you know, I'm so nervous. And yeah. I can just, you know, sense that he. Do you remember what it was? Was like a like a it was, art or something like that? I think Back it was like a Pokemon tattoo or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there you go. Just, doesn't really matter, yeah. Yeah, yeah just something like that. Just change the animal. really matter. Just change the animal. It's like, oh, that was supposed to be uh, right. Pikachu or something. Right. <laughs> so do you have a favorite tattoo and a least favorite tattoo? Also, uh, color or no yeah. color in the uh, same oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, right on. I, I, I like color, I think. Um, but no, I don't have a favorite or least favorite or does one stand out besides besides this one besides, oh, besides that one like i said that. like that shows sort of the Clean technical up. ability that i have yeah. i was and gonna say what is the most difficult to yeah. you right? stuff like that is it really stuff like that okay. is the most difficult the that's, stuff that stands alone yeah. without any noise in the background or any sort of uh and that has a 3d look color thing. yeah with so with color you can hide a lot of stuff yeah and you know you they, they say, you know, you can't make mistakes in ink, but the trick is learning how to fix mistakes in right. ink. And, because everybody makes mistakes. And the trick to making an art piece good and great is knowing how to roll with that. Right. And to not say, oops, when you make it. <laughs> you know what? Just the other day I was tattooing <laughs> someone and I said, oh no. And was that my outside? Like, and I was like, you know what? You're not supposed to say that when you're tattooing. No. But it was in response to a conversation that they okay. were having. And, you know, Jumping up. I was like, oh no. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. That's the worst. All right, brother. How do we find you? This is Cliff Franks at the Dark Knight, mm -hmm. right? So is that? Yeah, you can find me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, Cliff Franks Art, uh, at Cliff Franks Art. And um, call ahead. Best yeah. news yeah. Hit me up, uh, DM me, and we'll, we'll get you set up. Make it happen. Right. Awesome. awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye bye.